students at Kabale University in Kabale Municipality, Kabale District, have today morning boycotted both online and physical lectures, demanding explanation from the university authorities as to why there was an increment on surcharge from 30,000 to 80,000 Ugandan shillings. Uh, as students, uh, they, they just raised uh, an information that they, after three months of reporting day, we shall, we shall, three weeks, we shall be charged 30k. Then after the seventh week, we shall be charged uh, 50k and all totaling 80k. And we are asking ourselves, someone is failing to raise just one million as usual. Then you are such, you are, you are, you are pressurizing him to have another additional money to which he or she cannot afford without the concern of the parents. And even our parents are not easy in terms of explaining to them how this charge came because they have not been notified and they have not been called for that attention. This action led to a substantial deployment of police forces on the university grounds, effectively preventing a prime demonstration. The students' decision to strike arises from the ongoing surcharge increment with a demand for transparency from the university administration. The white students, they accidentally resolve that there is a surcharge. Now I wonder, to those students who just come and click, I am paying all my pending issues. If I pay accidentally that surcharge and rate registration, yet the time has not been what initiated. Do they re reverse that money? Where does it go? Because we follow the rules, we follow the law and policies. If I accidentally type to pay all the incidences, like now we are complaining, but I know most students have already paid for it. Mm -hmm. If it is removed from me, who complains? What about that student and where does that money go? What does it do? For example, we rack seats every morning, no, every evening, we carry seats, we carry what? What is the use of that surcharge? We are that is my request. Students who are not informed and who are not informed are not informed. We are not informed. We are not informed. We they have long grappled with unexplained surcharge hikes, expressing this May as the public university with high fees. And today, as students of our university, we are striking because of one reason. We are being charged charges uh, invoices that we don't know where they come from. The first thing is charge, surcharge and then rate registration. This money is not paid by other public universities. Yet, as as at as, as university, we pay that money. Now, and this is the way we pay it. Now, uh, within the first three weeks, we have to pay 30k. After seven weeks, we have to pay another 50k. That money, all the other universities don't pay that money. And why us as government university? Students. And even if you compare our tuition, our tuition, we are, we are the public that pays the largest amount of money with other universities, yet we have the poorest services. In fact, there's another thing that's even worse, or more worse. We pay money to get the transcripts, to get stamps. We pay the, uh, 3K to get stamps on our transcripts, which isn't fair, yet we have already paid our, our school fees. And even uh, in the cases where they say the thing is generally they want to remove it, you find they still ask us to write, write letters, have it removed. One students are having the same issue, they can't remove it at once. They want us all to pay money for that, to, to write letters, that they want us to remove the SR charge. For sure. Furthermore, the students have urged the university administration to seek solutions from reducing the burden of surcharge fees. And I came to the campus in the intake of 2020-2021. When you gave us the admissions, the, our tuition was 1.9. Mm. When we come to the portal, the tuition up to now is 1.97. And that thing to explain to a parent, really, it's disturbing. It was one point? One point nine on the admission. Mm -hmm. Then so on the portal. Then, 2020. Then on the portal, we started paying 1.97. And when we ask the coordinators of how and why, they don't explain that 70. Is it the bank charge? Is it the what? We need to get the clear reason of that money. Because we are you're paying 1.7 and they're the including even a charge of 8. That's really a theft. In response to the concerns, to Kamushaba Amos, the Dean of Students at Kabale University acknowledged the issue and assured that they can be addressed. Paid forward to the next semester, so that the next semester you pay this. You don't pay the same amount. That's what it should be. If it is a last semester for example, you are completing your course, your program, then 
you will reduce it as you are registering for graduation. But he explained that system error could be responsible for some of the problems and encouraged students to reach out to him if they encountered issues. Tukamushaba also mentioned the possibility of reducing surcharge fees in the upcoming semester to alleviate the financial burden of the students. Those things are understandable. They can be argued out, they can be reasoned out, and a good solution can come out. Things of the systems are also not in one's control. Some other times, the system is changamo. And when that happens, then many other things do happen. But when the issues are highlighted, eh? And then I'll give it to your representative, president. Mm. You come to me, eh? Then I go either with you mm. or alone and then give you back the information. Kamal University transitioned into a public university in 2015. Nobody can match it for television.